These people were born to save us all. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV chosen ones. For this list, we're looking at small screen characters that have been singled out to carry out a task of great importance, while taking into consideration the personality traits of the characters themselves, the difficulties of the tasks, and what's at stake. A spoiler alert is now in order. Graduates of this school are guaranteed lucrative employment for their entire lives, and I'm inviting you to join us. Number 10, Jeffrey Sinclair, Babylon 5. The latest in a line of fighter pilots dating back generations in his family, Jeffrey Sinclair is a human born on Mars in the year 2218, after Earth began to establish colonies on other planets. His destiny is to work as a fighter pilot like his father and his father's father before him, or so he thinks. In reality, upon receiving a letter from his past self, Jeffrey learned that he was actually a man named Valen, a thousand-year-old war hero for the alien race Minbari. He could have chosen to ignore or deny this information, but instead he traveled back in time to fulfill the prophecy by embracing his true identity as the one who was and becoming the hero from the legend. Nothing's the same anymore. Number 9. Benjamin Sisko, Star Trek Deep Space Nine Benjamin Sisko's destiny was mapped out for him before he even existed. Because without the Bajoran prophets meddling in his parents' marriage, he never would have been born. One who does not wish to be among us is to be the emissary. Sisko went through much of his life unaware that he had been chosen for a greater purpose, but while assigned to Deep Space Nine in Bajoran, the prophets reveal to its inhabitants that Benjamin is to be their emissary. It is quite simply, Commander, the journey you have always been destined to take. During the series finale, he finally does what was intended of him and saves the Bajoran people from an invasion while becoming a prophet himself. Sure, his life was basically planned out for him, but in the end, it was up to him to embrace the role he was destined for since birth. The emissary has completed his task. Number 8. John Locke Lost as soon as John Locke landed on the island post-plane crash and realized he had regained the use of his legs, viewers knew there was something special about him. This is destiny. This is destiny. This is, this is my destiny. Even Locke thought it must mean something and actively sought to find answers. But his desire to understand his place in the world often made him gullible. And so his form was an easy choice for the man in black to take and then manipulate into doing his bidding. The man who told me to move the island, the man who told me how to bring you all back, he said to tell his son hello. Ultimately, Locke did serve a purpose, but that was to die so that the Oceanic Six could return to the island, which probably wasn't the destiny Locke was hoping for. You know him? Yeah. He's the man who killed me. Number seven, Sam and Dean Winchester, Supernatural. The Winchesters are our guardians and protectors against the supernatural creatures that live among us. However, the life of a monster hunter isn't a choice, it's a calling. Mom. That call came in the form of Azazel, who was tasked by Lucifer to pick and train his potential human vessels. What the hell are you doing to me? Better than mother's milk. When the brothers were young, Azazel killed their mother after she caught him feeding demon blood to Sam. The blood in question would later give Sam special powers and lead their father to start the family business of hunting creatures of the night. While both Sam and older brother Dean take this job very seriously, the fact that they're both destined to become the true vessels of the Archangels Lucifer and Michael respectively cements their spot on this list. Our whole lives, everything, has been prepping for this and now I... I kind of don't know what to say. Number 6. Kara Starbuck Thrace, Battlestar Galactica In the series reboot, Kara Thrace acts as a modern reimagining of original character Starbuck, since they both enjoy the same vices such as drinking, smoking, gambling, and getting busy. God, you smell like a latrine. Hmm. You want to give me a bath? She had a tough childhood and doesn't seem to value her life very much, but we can't really blame her after everything that happens to her on the show. In fact, at one point, she's even told that she will bring about the end of her people. 
Though it turns out that the end she brings about is their journey to find a hospitable planet, as she alone leads them to what would become Earth. I don't see Kara's race, I see an angel blazing with the light of God. Once their ship lands safely and her mission is completed, she simply disappears into thin air. Goodbye, Kara. You won't be forgotten. Number 5. Rose Tyler, Doctor Who Rose was living an ordinary existence before she met the doctor, who invited her to become his traveling companion. What's it mean? Bad wolf. While journeying through time and space, the two kept coming across the words bad wolf. It turned out that in the future, Rose would use the doctor's time machine, the TARDIS, to send herself a message that she should return to save him from the evil alien race called the Daleks on the space station Satellite 5. I scatter them in time and space. A message to leave myself here. While assuming the bad wolf entity, Rose wiped out the Daleks and brought her friend Jack back from the dead. The time will end. Number 4. Emma Swan, Once Upon a Time After Emma Swan ends up in the town of Storybrook, she gets more than she bargained for. This includes a long-lost son, the parents she never knew, who just so happened to be Snow White and Prince Charming, and the destiny to break a powerful curse over the town that causes its fairy tale residents to forget who they really are. For 28 years, I only knew one thing, that my parents sent me away. We did that to give you your best chance. You did it for everyone. Since Emma was thrust from the enchanted forest as a baby, the curse never affected her, and she is the only one who can break it. You did it. Oh, and her son's adoptive mother is the one who cursed everyone in the first place and is trying to thwart your every move. And you thought your family was dysfunctional. I shall destroy your happiness. Number 3. Aang, Avatar The Last Airbender In Aang's world, the population is divided into four categories of people who can control the elements of earth, wind, fire, and water, as well as one person capable of controlling all four, known as the Avatar. When the previous Avatar is left to die, he is reincarnated as Aang. Did you see what he just did? Now that was some waterbending. But Aang finds this out at a young age and attempts to run away, only to become trapped in time for 100 years while the Fire Nation wages war over the rest of the world. Quite agile for his old age. Wake my uncle! Tell him I found the Avatar. After being woken up in the future, Aang, still only 12 years old, embraces his destiny by quickly learning to master all four elements so he can end the war and avenge his people. There's no hope now. It's over. No, it's not over. Number 2. The Prince That Was Promised – Game of Thrones Prophecies can be tricky. The prince that was promised was a savior figure often linked to the prophesied rebirth of legendary warrior Azora High. In the ancient books it's written that a warrior will draw a burning sword from the fire. Born amidst salt and smoke, he would wake dragons and wield the sword Lightbringer against a great darkness. But Game of Thrones twists and turns kept us guessing at just who fit the bill. Early on, Melisandre claimed it was Stannis Baratheon. Others thought it was Daenerys since the word prince could equally be translated as princess. There was also a case to be made for Arya, who defeated the Night King. And of course, John, who plunged his blade into the heart of his lover, just like Azor Ahai. In the end, prophecies may have referenced all three. Before we unveil our top chosen one, here are some honorable mentions. You let it go, Claire. There's nothing you can do about it. I can do this. I need to push you this time. Don't give up. Oh. 
I was so scared. I know. I'm just glad you're safe. I don't know what would happen if I ever lost you. I love you. You and you alone possess the courage, the determination, and the compassion that would be required of you to lift the darkness from the earth. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Buffy Summers – Buffy the Vampire Slayer Thanks to a Hellmouth portal located beneath Sunnydale High, the town is rampant with vampires and other supernatural creatures. Luckily, the town also has Buffy Summers, a teenage girl chosen by the powers that be to be a slayer and rid the world of evil. In every generation, there is a chosen one. She alone will stand against the vampires, the demons, and the forces of darkness. Along with enhanced physical abilities, she's aided by her mentor slash watcher, Giles, and a group of friends known as the Scooby Gang. We'll pay the price. It's do or die. Hey, I've died twice. She may fall in love with a vampire or two along the way, but that never stops her from doing what must be done. And so she saved the world too many times to count. Oh, my dead mother hits harder than that! Other slayers may come and go throughout the series, but Buffy is the real deal. When it's dark, and I'm all alone, and I'm scared or freaked out or whatever, I always think, what would Buffy do? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.